Hello and welcome to this video presentation. My name is York and I'm currently demonstrating my solar energy harvesting project. Um, I'll show you the setup. We have here just basic lamps, incandescent lamps, and they're powering uh, solar panels underneath. And these are connected to my energy harvesters, which we can see here. Um, we have three different types of energy harvesters. Um, one is the self-resonant inductive boost. This one is a DC-DC boost converter, and this is a Dixon's charge pump. So these three energy harvesters are powering um, sensor nodes. Um, these are inductive pressure sensor nodes connected to each one of them. So basically, when I press the switch here, the pressure on the um, coil will change, and this will be read out as a frequency change. This signal is being wirelessly transmitted into the spectrum analyzer, which we see here. So most of them have their um, antennas internalized into the coil, but this one, the middle one, the DC-DC boost converter, has its own um, external antenna, as we can see here. So we see the receiving end antenna over here, connected to the spectrum analyzer, and let's look at the signals that we get. So the first thing to note is we already have a peak. And this peak is from the self-resonant inductive boost over here because it doesn't need to be decoupled. The other of them will have blipping signals because they're charging topologies. Basically, it charges up to a certain voltage and then it will um, de-isolate the load, well, unisolate the load. And from there, it would um, pass the signal through from the sensor node. So we should see blipping. So you see that small peak there? That is from the um, Dixon's charge pump. There should be a larger peak further to the left, which should show up, showing the um, DC-DC boost converter. Let's just wait. There we go. So we saw that peak over there. So basically, we can control these signals by moving these um, pressure switch, which will change the signal here. So if I press on this switch, for instance, you will see that the frequency should decrease. So I'll just show that now. And when I release it, it goes back to where it was. So um, it works for the blipping signal as well. So it will be a bit hard to capture, but let's just try for the small blip here on the Dixon charge pump. So we see that it's moved and there's the signal again and I'll try to move it let's try and see it's shifting and I shift it more and there were two blips there which came from um, this signal um, this signal is a bit hard to capture on the DC-DC um, boost converter because the timing of it is a bit more bit less frequent. So the best way to show this is to actually use the trace mode and to use a max hold essentially. So I'll go to max hold, uh, enter. So now hopefully the signals are holding at their maximum. So whatever the peak shows up it will just literally draw it on the spectrum analyzer. So we should be seeing the peak of the DC-DC boost converter soon. It should show up about there. So just wait for it. Ah, so there we go. So there we see the signal for the DC-DC boost converter. So if I press on this switch here, so I hold this, we should see that the next signal should appear further to the um, left, which will show a frequency decrease of that large peak. So we'll just wait for it again. Which will, might take a while. So you see that the frequency has decreased, um, which is exactly what we want since I'm pressing on the switch. Um, so I guess that shows the end of my demonstration. And 
basically, what this demonstration shows is that all my energy harvesters are capable of powering a sensor node, and that each sensor node is capable of actually transmitting some data. Um, thank you.